Hey guys, what's up? What's up? Yes, guys, in this video, as you can see, I'm going to teach you how to use this tool. All right, and we're going to create a uh, jet cone or jet nose, whatever you call this, right? So yes, it is called the trowel. All right, trowel or trowel or trowel. I don't know how you pronounce it, but yet, uh, but yes, this is it. We're gonna use this, all right? So let us start now, all right? So as you can see, there's a plus button here. So uh, I, I want you to change this into red and move into two. Well, that's for a while. Of course, we're gonna change it later more, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, all right? By the way, uh, uh, you can use any blocks that you want, all right? So I'm just using titanium blocks because this is my most... Uh, you know this is my most blocks that I have but you can use any blocks that you want all right so uh, the next thing you will do is this one all right so put one block here and then use uh, this scaling tool all right and change it to 0.9 all right then reduce the block like this all right and then uh, this can actually determine the length of the jet cone or jet nose all right so pull this all right maybe 20 blocks long uh yeah i think this will do all right so i i think this is too long what do you think yeah i think that let's reduce it yeah perhaps 16 all right and then the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna put one block here all right so that's gonna this is gonna be the uh the guide all right but we can actually put more blocks here all right and then all right so then we're gonna change the rotation to five all right and then we're gonna put one block here and then make one rotation all right there you go one all right and then place one more maybe one two all right and then make one rotation and then one two three all right one two three four five six there you go uh maybe yeah let's reduce it one all right and then uh yes uh, change rotation to 15 and then make one rotation all right one two and then make one rotation again there you go yeah i think that will do all right and yes you can actually extend this if you want all right, the because uh, making a jet, this is probably where you will place the canopy. All right, so maybe you can extend this a little more. All right, and then here. So I suggest, guys, you put uh, don't uh, don't pull this uh, further. I mean, because you gotta, you know, uh, having more blocks you placed, uh, it means that you can. Uh, make some adjustment easily so you get you have the versatility of adjustment all right so i mean you you'll have more options in adjustments all right so there you go yeah so and then now we're going to uh, reduce the size so uh, the scaling number it's up to you you can use 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 it's up to you guys but uh, for now we're gonna use 0 0.5 okay so you gotta reduce everything like this and this one all right so i'm gonna change to 0 0.05 for accuracy because i'm going to all right to connect these blocks all right here all right so we're gonna start here there you go and then reduce this all right this is good look at that perfect perfectly placed and then gonna reduce this to 0 0.5 as you can see there all right then now you can uh, just reduce this and this all right then all right so they are 0 0.5 and then also here 0 0.5 and then now this one connect it easily like that and then reduce oops too much yeah i think that will do it's okay and then yes reduce this to 0 0.5 all right also this they reduce this to 0 0.5 all right and then this one connect this they reduce it there you go perfect then yes just reduce it to 0 0.5 all 
right reduce to 0 0.5 and also this of course connect this as you can see there's a little difference here so you can pull this up a little all right and maybe reduce this uh, nope that's okay that's good then reduce this to 0 0.5 and then uh, this is actually gonna be the point of the jet cone so you're gonna reduce this block all right so uh, as you can see this one all right this edge should be at the center because this actually will create the point of the jet cone so yes i think we're good all right so now we are going to make some rotations using this uh trowel yeah the trowel tool all right there you go so uh, you know you can remove this now all right and then you can actually highlight everything there you go and as you can see guys uh what i call this the guide all right the arrows as you can see uh it should not be like that so the thing is you need this this guide all right so i want to add one more here or yes one more here and one more here and i'll just turn this into black because this is the center make sure guys uh you have the center all right and then we're gonna just pull this up and this one so that uh guys we will have a very accurate uh rotation so make sure you have this uh, centered all right so it's balanced all right so this is four and this is four all right so now we can highlight all all right so just to make sure all right because guys if you select other blocks like that with different direction that's with what will happen all right so it's not balanced all right so we want to make some cloning or rotations balance all right so we're gonna press it here the last in using uh the trowel the last block you select all right so it is uh the direction of the cloning or rotation will follow the uh direction of the block the last block you selected all right so there you go uh there you go all right so change the clone all right change the clone all right just pull one up or down it's up to you guys and then the important thing is you align it again all right so there you go all right and then we're gonna make some rotation all right, so I just want to make sure we're going to rotate accurately. So we're going to press it again here with this block, the center block. All right. Now we can make some rotation. So just invert these blocks like this. All right. So now they are inverted. All right. And then now you can select move again. All right. As you can see, it's centered. Actually, it's quite all right now all right so they are i just check if they are aligned properly and yes they are aligned properly so now you can delete this because and this and this because they are just excess blocks all right and then uh you can now reduce this perhaps uh to uh right just use 0 0.2 to reduce this one more and one more uh that's too much let's add some more let's use point one for this all right so there you go and here maybe uh 0 0.5 there you go all right just pull one oh no uh, it should be point zero five okay there you go just pull one here and here there you go yeah that will do all right and then uh we're gonna select everything again using the throw wheel tool all right to, well, as you can see the direction of the arrows are not good so we're gonna select this block again the center block all right so we got a clone all right actually cloning uh any direction will do just make sure you bring it back again so yeah click it here again at the center block the guide block all right there you go all right now they are aligned now you can make some rotation all right select the center block again all right and then rotate just one all right there you go all right now we're gonna delete these excess blocks 
All right. We only need uh, just one guide block. All right. So the next step we'll do is we're going to reduce the, si the width of these blocks. All right. So I think this one is 0.9. Yep, 0.9 will do. As you can see, guys, there it is. We're using 0.9. Uh, this is what, you know, they are. I want them to be balanced and, uh, you know, connected smoothly. All right, so there you go. Reduce this the width of these blocks. All right, like this. All right, so as you can see, now we have the point. And this may be... Uh, this is, this may be point 0.8. Alright, point 0.8 will do for this. There you go. Alright, there you go. And this one, let's try point 0.8. Nope. This should be point 0.7. Yeah, point 0.7 will do here. Yes, good, good. Not bad, not bad. All right, there you go. So perhaps this is 0.6 or maybe 0.65. Oh, no, actually 0.7 still. Yep, 0.7 still do. Yep, 0.7 is that's quite good. All right. I'm going to use 0.7 to reduce the uh, width of these blocks. All right, there you go. And this, yeah, this should be 0.65, I think. Right there, you go. Yes, 0 0.65. Very good. Really nice. All right, there you go. And then here, uh, this one might be 0 0.6. Let's try 0 0.6 with this. Yes, 0 0.6 will do here. All right, there you go. Uh, maybe pointings will also do here. Yes, it is. So as you can see, that guys, we do this to you know to make the jet cone smooth. Yep, point six will do. I think yeah, all the way. Point six will do all the way. So what about here? Will 0.6 do here? Yep, 0.6. It's quite good. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at this perfectly aligned blocks. Beautiful, guys. Alright, so now you can make a perfect uh, jet cone for your fighter jets. Or me. Actually, guys, yes. Uh, same method in building missiles. They actually do this for look at that. So you can see the shape, all right. So now, all right. So we're gonna highlight everything again using the trowel, all right, and then make sure you select the center block. Lastly, all right, and then we gotta clone this, all right. There you go, and then pull up. Oh no 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 no! Look at that. So. Uh, Yes, make sure you select the center block again. Yeah, it's okay. All right, there you go. Pull up. All right, so uh, just delete this block. Also this and this. Are they centered? Yes, they are. All right, and then, ah, uh, yeah, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. Yep, yep, I made a mistake. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll just clone it again. All right, don't worry, it's gonna be easy. All right, there you go. So yeah, I think uh, yeah, you should clone sideways to easily see the blocks that you need to select. All right, and then. Make some rotation, all right. Are they accurate? Uh, it's okay, I'll just select the block, the middle block. So rotate twice, so one, two. There you go. 
all right and then now you can delete this and also this this all right very good oh look at this uh yeah forgot to reduce this this is 0.6 oh you can delete this these are the that's just a double delete this they're doubled actually <laughs> all right there you go yes perfect they're doubled because guys i made a mistake in cloning but guys uh it should be only one one block all right so there you go highlight again all right select the middle block all right the guide block then clone all right clone sideways all right there you go and then make sure you select the middle block all right again there you go and then bring it back to the center All right, there you go, and then gonna make rotation. So make sure you're selecting the center block, okay? So now we're gonna rotate four times. So one, two, three, four. There you go. All right, guys, so make sure you don't uh, unselect this block. So what you're gonna do is select the middle block again, all right? And then we clone. All right, so let's clone sideways. All right, and then, uh, yes, select the center block again. There you go, and then we can move just one, bring it back to the center. all right very good and then we're gonna rotate so again make sure you select the center block all right and then rotate four times again so one two three four you can see the magic there you go so you now have the jet cone or you know you can use for missiles all right Oh yeah, I forgot to adjust this because, you know, uh, it is covered by those blocks, but these are actually p using 0.6, you can reduce this block. These are just excess blocks because they are excess because, you know, I've said, as I've said, uh, I doubled it when I cloned it, alright, so the, I, I'll delete this, but uh w if you didn't make a mistake in cloning uh it should only be a one block all right, all right there you go so guys careful in deleting some blocks all right and this one all right there you go so now you have the jet cone or missile cone something like that so i'll just have a uh, screenshot all right so this screenshot is gonna be the thumbnail all right there you go guys as you can see here it's perfect right so now you can just you know change the color the color of your choice all right yes there you go yes just just log <laughs> all right so what do you think guys so now can you build your own fighter jet now using the trowel so by the way guys if you learn something and if you like it uh, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell and please like and share the video so thank you for watching guys bye bye